So, uh, as per uh, the request by uh, uh, Walt Olson, I've built the SPAD 13. SPAD stands for uh, Society pour Aviation de Rivet. It's French. Um, it means the, the aviation company. Um, it was a French built uh, plane. They, they made them so they could be light and easy to make and cheap. Uh, this thing had a wooden airframe. It was covered in canvas, and it had uh, about a 200 horsepower engine in here that was not very reliable. At any one time, 50% of them were sitting on the ground because the engines were failing. Um, the, it, was, it was a very uh, uh, air, uh, acrobatic plane, um, very much liked by the pilots, uh, but not real tough. Um, these things, because they were canvas and wood, if the engine got shot up uh, they'd catch on fire and back in these days when these planes went down um, there was no parachutes the guy just crashed with the airplane so uh, they were like gladiators back then and uh, the whole plane could be on fire because it was canvas and wood um, wheels turn on this one the wheels are designed to big they had big wheels on it so that it could land in fields because we generally didn't have air uh, airports back then um, the, the uh, machine gun originally was the 303 uh, water-cooled machine gun that the, uh, killed so many millions of people during World War I. But when the Americans came into the war, they switched the machine gun out for a 30 caliber machine gun. I think the Brownings made the machine gun. And uh, uh, it got much lighter. This plane, fully loaded with all of the machine gun bullets and all of the... Uh, uh, four 25 pound bombs and filled with fuel still weighed less than one bomb dropped by a B-52 and the B-52 would drop 35 bombs um, something else to think about everybody always wonders how do you shoot the gun and not shoot off the propeller well I don't understand the math but they developed a timing chain that made it so that the gun could not fire unless the the propeller was not in the way, so the bullet would go between them. Um, good math, I don't know. Got a little Frenchman in there uh, with his stick flying the plane. Um, it's gonna go down and strafe a, uh, some poor folks in a, in a trench. Anyway, there it is, the SPAD 13. One of the most well-used planes, I think they made almost 8,500 of them uh, during the uh, First World War. Good job, Lou. Thank you, Boo.